So we know that the uh, the decision in the Darren Wilson case in Ferguson is going to come down. It could come down today. It could come down uh, sometime, they're saying, before December 1st. Uh, whether he will be indicted for uh, killing uh, Michael Brown. And uh, already, everyone's saying that there is going to be violence. Uh, they've already declared a state of emergency in Ferguson. Uh, it's a big mess. Uh, we've got a video with a little more info. Worried about the violent past and with new intelligence coming in, the FBI has sent a bulletin to police across the country. It warns that violent individuals will likely try to exploit peaceful protests and attack law enforcement in Ferguson and possibly nationwide. According to the bulletin, suspects could be armed with knives and guns and tactical gear like tear gas masks and bulletproof vests. The warning cites specific recent intelligence that's causing concern, including threatening messages. Okay, so basically we're sort of preempting the violence by saying that there is going to be violence. I'm pretty convinced that regardless of whether he's indicted or not, there is going to be violence. Uh, violence either way, I mean, clearly if he isn't indicted, I'm pretty sure there's going to be violence. And I have a feeling that even if he is, when you have this many people together and so many people with different motives and everything else, I think there's going to be violence either way. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, and I'm not, I'm not comparing these two things, but I guess I am because the first thing I think of is, look how crazy people go when their team wins. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, but no, really, really, people, yeah. people uh, just express themselves very physically sometimes, whether yeah. they're happy or they're sad. But um, and I, I agree, you have to prepare for these things. You have to make sure people are safe and protected. However, you don't use that as an excuse to uh, show up with gigantic tankers and bazookas and get ready to, you know, kill everyone in the crowd. Yeah. So has the precedent already been set here that there'll be violence because of what happened and the over? militarization of the police and everything else like have we already set that th this, this is in motion already I grew up in Los Angeles and we do riots <laughs> you know and uh, haven't we also, done any since I've been here just that's for the right okay we, we also we also do yeah. you know, we do riots when the Lakers win and this the Clippers win. that's a great point yeah um, but uh, the, we also do earthquakes and earthquakes happen you just don't know when the big one's gonna be so I'm pretty sure something's going to happen regardless I can't I can't. I don't know the riots. Why riots would happen if he is indicted? Well, only because so many people are going to be out there. The police are still going to be there, and there's just this undercurrent. Right. Of, it's, like it's just like this like amorphous thing, <laughs> and someone just sets off a firecracker. That's when right. when yeah. the reason it's one person to yeah. set this off. When the reason any of this is happening is because the police and the the general public don't really communicate well. It's going to really suck when when that undercurrent is is translating into like this big national yeah. attention moment. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough. Hopefully, it won't be a, a a big eruption of violence. It doesn't. I mean, it sounds like it should help to have tanks there to stop violence, but it but but it's not going to. Yeah. I understand the idea to bring tanks, but right. that's just really not going to help but at all. Go ahead. Well, doesn't it seem you know just the way they put it, like there could be a uh, this could end Earth. Uh, there could be guns and knives. There. There could be a lot of things, but doesn't it sound like they're setting themselves well, up to excuse their behavior? And that's sort of, ex well, I don't even know if it's to excuse their behavior or just like, I sort of feel like the media kind of wants it too. And we talk about this with Ebola and everything else, where there's just always this lead in that gets everyone juiced. Like the, the protesters now know, ah, the FBI is talking about us already. Like, And also, doesn't it help the protesters' argument if there is violence, unfortunately? You know what I mean? Yeah, it if, sucks. It, sure. Then they go, well, look, there's more violence, so we're, we're even more screwed. Everybody wins in the worst possible way if something horrible happens. Yeah, so what are the police supposed to do? Because obviously those images were awful and tanks and the sniper with the guy right in front of him and all that stuff, it's terrible. We don't want that on our streets, obviously. But if there are riots, what are the police and the National Guard actually What's within their right to do if they're looting stores and, and all that stuff? Well, it, there's there's certain you know they instead of putting bullets in their guns they put like little bean bag pellets. So there are, there's they have riot gear. Yeah. I assume you use that. Yeah. Um, don't kill anybody. The problem but, is, yeah. If if they don't don't erupt into the violent shooting sprees just to get it to stop. Right. It is. An but then out someone could shoot at them with a live bullet. That's what I mean about this like endless thing that. Nobody I mean, this can... this gets to the heart of like why maybe it happened in the first place. Yeah. Like the 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 idea of being a police officer is frightening to me. Yeah. Still, like, no no. If if the situation was such that the the police officer was not provoked at all, like that's not okay. But I can't imagine what it's like to be a police officer. The same way I can't imagine what it's like to be profiled on the street. 
you know, other than being like really non-threatening, which is what people, you know, determine about me because I just don't work out. I, you're pretty threatening. Thank you. I, I've seen you late at night wandering the streets of LA. Yeah, um, I call you surly. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> um, really though, is there anything, so we don't know, literally, this could, the decision could come down while we're sitting here right this second or it could come down next week, whatever it is. But since we have this lead time where we know that this decision's coming, is there anything that anyone can do to calm tensions? Because it seems like everything we're doing is just ratcheting tensions isn't there like we're, we have time now is there nothing we can do I don't want to speculate here but you know take but, it away, uh, CNN. I, honestly I think just little chocolate treats if you give people a bunch of bunch of candy I mean it does a lot I mean honestly I don't I don't know the honest answer so Halloween yeah. the sequel yeah exactly okay. another Halloween no costumes I think there's I, I'm not a historian but I'm sure there's been riots in the past that haven't erupted in a nationwide outrage right. that things have been contained things have uh, ended relatively peacefully, relatively quickly, without major bloodshed and major horror. So maybe we need to go back and look at the tape of things that haven't ended so horrifically that this is gonna be what we're talking about and teaching in schools for the next couple decades. Yeah, well on that note, I hope that I am completely wrong on this one. I fear that I'm not, but I hope uh, that I am. What do you think? Uh, comment right down below.